Thy Kingdom Crumble is a dang good idea for a game. I'm finding it much more exciting than I expected. It's sort of like a Downwell and Avalanche 2 Super Avalanche mashup, although it's safely its own thing. Small warning, Thy Kingdom Crumble is one of those games that figuring out everything will extend the life of the game. It gives you nothing at the start, so some of the fun is trying to grasp what the heck is going on. By watching this video, you're stealing that away from yourself. I'm not going to ruin everything though, so it shouldn't be so bad. Anyway, the goal of the game is to reach the sun. It's a simple premise. You start in what I would call a basement. It needs a torch to have lights, definitely underground. That's a basement. You work your way up to the sun, screen by screen. But the world around you is slowly crumbling. Use the stone blocks that are dropping to reach the sun. Careful, there are a lot of enemies. It's not a speed run though. The game gives you infinite blocks and infinite time, which is nice at the start to give you plenty of time to grasp the mechanics. Although... I would like to see more time pressure mechanics added. The game could get more difficult the longer you played, or if there was a limit on the number of blocks that would drop. That doesn't mean the game is easy though. There are no checkpoints and your health does not replenish. So figuring out the game is a lot of work. You'll die a lot and only get so far. Now the character controls are good, a little airy, which is expected. I find them precise enough to land on platforms right next to spikes. Changing directions in midair is also possible. You can easily jump around a platform. Although, getting back to the platform you were on is a struggle. I like how far the character jumps, especially since the platforms can get sparse. It's interesting that your jump resets after touching a wall, which means you can constantly jump up a wall. That's less useful than you think, but you can finesse some cool moves out of it. Another cool mechanic is how you can push blocks up. Combined with the constant wall jumping, you can make a jump work where there wasn't one. By constantly jumping against the bottom of the block, you will push it up. It's easier for smaller blocks, which is cool. It gives the blocks weight. Even jumping off the little blocks pushes them around normally. The block physics is my favorite part of the game. If the blocks were completely static, the game would be less dynamic and boring. The way it is now is certainly part of the charm. Note that you must play with a keyboard and mouse. Trust me on this, it's much easier to aim your jumps. A controller isn't impossible, but it feels like you're gimping yourself. There is an opportunity to buy items along your journey. A few shops along the sides on the way up. There are all kinds of weird items too. Well, I'm not going to get into them all, but the extra jumps are extremely useful. Almost overpowered. There are free upgrades too, but they're trickier to get. They're in tight areas surrounded by spikes. It's not impossible with how much control you have, but I often lose a life when I try. What's annoying is that you can't collect it by touching it. You have to press the collect button, even though it's free. I end up mashing the key while falling through the area, and I've had to do a few attempts to get an item. While the game does have upgrades, I imagine it's possible to finish without them. In fact, that would be a great new mode to add to the game. The biggest problem with Thy Kingdom Crumble is that it's short. Most of the length comes from struggling to figure out how to play, and then figuring out what to do with the sun, and then actually finishing that up, which is why I've been mentioning ideas for other game modes throughout the review. It would be great if something else was added. Something simple. Overall, Thy Kingdom Crumble is a great little game. It's super short, but at the price, it falls squarely in the budget category. I enjoyed 
my couple hours with the game. Hey, here at the end, I wanted to point out that this is actually the same developer who made In Celebration of Violence, which makes a lot of sense if you compare how connected the two games are mechanically. I'll check out that review if you're interested in an interesting and fun roguelike. Thanks for watching. Hit subscribe. You know how it goes. Thanks. <laughs>